What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's MC Triple Three back at it again with another one. Let me just check something out real quick. All right, perfect. Just making sure we good. We good to go. Anyways, welcome back to the channel. It's MC Triple Three back at it again with another extended Starcast report, another tarot card reading. Y'all stay tuned. We gonna get into a little bit of a little bit of the energies, a little bit of dissecting. We gonna get into a little bit of collective energies and things of that nature with some new cards and stuff like that that's been in you know now in the inventory so hopefully you guys can enjoy this re uh, video no live stream today w replay gang uh let's get straight into it happy virgo season so happy solar return to my virgos out there um it's your season you know what i'm saying that with that being said this is this is putting us in an energy of mutable earth to where we're becoming a little bit more adaptable you know uh if you don't know virgo rules sixth house birth space of the sixth house you know came came forth the uh the virgo constellation and things of that nature you have the energy signature uh energy signature of virgo and the sixth house space deals with your routine um deals with levels of organization it could deal with a little bit of work and things of that nature um virgo is very adaptable in terms of work they they like to mend they like to organize very tedious and things of that nature so that that's a very big um very big energy within the next 30 days we are zero degrees uh in virgo and things of that nature we're in this cusp period to where we're transitioning the sun is transitioning from leo to virgo so until we get about sun gets about two degrees um virgo as you see here zero as it gets about two degrees then we'll really feel and be put into this energy within the next 30 days and things of that nature this is around this uh this cusp period i always notice like a weird foggy cloud to where when we're transiting uh when the sun gets around 28 degrees from one sign going into 29 zero degrees and then one and two degrees of the other sign we have like a five degree orb to where i think it's like it's like a void and we feel it it's like a uh, it's like a downtime a very quiet time it's kind of eerie i notice and things of that nature till we till we usher into the new season it's kind of preparing us and like getting us ready warming us up for for the new energy and um now we're going to kind of start feeling that those building blocks over the 23rd 24th and things of that nature as we get into the virgo season um with the moon in aries right now cardinal fire we're going to be reacting and responding in a way that's in alignment to our passions uh passions motivations and desires with aries there aries is that cardinal fire the initiator of the vision um the initiator of the action maybe taking the action and taking the next step that you need um starting that thing that needs to be done in order for the work or routine to be done aka sun in virgo um and things of that nature is going to be playing out through the sun in virgo remember the sun is our actions and the moon is our um you know our, our emotions our moon um our emotions our mother motherly figure as well as our home life but with that being said our emotions is is kind of having that drive that fuel that motivation to um to tackle in the tackle down the routines to organize and put things from you know in position a to position b and things of that nature and allow you to a little bit more flexibility with you know your routines and organization with of your, of your work and the things that you um put time and attention to right so now you'll be able to kind of you'll feel a little bit more motivated and more more emotionally driven to organize your passions organize your desires organize what motivates you right and um create and that'll allow you to create a routine around it to where you can consistently work towards the things that drive you towards the things that motivate you right and things of that nature as we um as we go down and things of that nature um it is a it is a strong strong energy signature aries is the emperor the emperor understands his position of authority and what what it needs to do next right what are the next steps um for you for yourself that you need to do in order to work like that you need to implement for a stronger routine and solidification and things of that nature those are very that's a very important uh very important time very important signature right now um the sun and venus are also forming um uh the sun and mercury yeah you see the sun and mercury conjunction um i would say venus but it's not just there they're both in the sign of virgo but it doesn't create the orb of a conjunction yet but because they're both in the sign of virgo there is a strong emphasis on 
you know, organizing in relationships, um, be mindful of criticizing relationships and your partners and things of that nature. Um, you you know, t t things can be very critical and seem very organized and structured right now um, towards your relationships. You may utilize some of that organization towards your actions. Um, the sun here will help aid your relationships as well because um, it'll it'll help guide you with the actions you need to take. You'll be a little bit more responsible and you'll be a little bit more articulate and more uh, keen towards the details um, of, of your relationships and how to show up for, for, for your spouse and for your significant partner and things of that nature, how to relate to them. Um, you know, by, by looking beyond the veil, by looking at the details of your relationships, um, you know, the whys and, and, and the hows and things of that nature, right? That gets into, Virgo gets into the details and the fine, uh, fine information of things of that nature. Uh, it can seem very critical. Try not to be very critical towards your relationships. If you are criticizing certain things, utilize that sun in Virgo to actually um, do, the, do, the, do the doings of the organization of your relationship so that can be a little bit more structured <clears throat> and a little bit more fluent in terms of creating a routine around your relationships and things of that nature. We have the sun square Uranus um, and yeah, the other moon, moon trine Mercury, moon sextile, uh, sextile Jupiter. So with the moon trine Mercury, this is giving us that ease because obviously it's that next door neighbor sign, that previous sign. Um, oh, sorry, it was moon. Uh, so no, so but similar elements, right? So we got the moon in Aries, which is a, a cardinal fire. We got Mercury in Leo, which is fixated fire, but they're both the same modality, which is a fire element. Um, this brings uh, or, or, or causes an aspect called a trine, which offers a level of ease and harmony towards um, how you emotionally communicate, right? So how you emotionally feel um, you communicate with others and analyze towards, you know, expressing yourself and things of that nature is allowing you to, to, to develop a sense of ease to where expressing yourself isn't so hard and you can actually find the strength and, and, and speak up for yourself. You know, Aries is that initiated energy and you may be that you may be the one initiating the conversation. You may be speaking up for yourself in ways that, you know, you used to or thought you could have, but, but, but haven't been and things of that nature, right? Because Mercury with the retrograde in Leo is previous ways of expression, right? Um, because it's because it's retrograding. So what what past forms of expression um, are you is, is are you is, is coming back to you right now with ease, allowing you to kind of display that right now. And that I'll, I'll, that also deals with setting the stage for something to be expressed. What previous thing that you used to do, like for example these videos, these pre recordings, like tarot and things of that nature that I used to do for myself to set the stage for for individual expression. Um, to come back that 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 I need to come back that represents me as an individual that's that Mercury and Leo to where I'm putting in the energy and initiating um, being having the more having the comfortability aka the moon to initiate the previous stage and analyzation that I set and have for myself to be displayed and expressed right and um, that is Mercury and Leo so and I you know that that's a that's a very key thing right now very significant let's continue so we have the moon sextile jupiter as well this is a um very very strong signature this is giving us the opportunity right the sextile with jupiter is going to be the profound opportunity right because jupiter and gemini jupiter and gemini is the experience of 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 fun it's the experience of communication it's expanding your intellect expanding forms of communication and and, and expanding your um even your ability like within your neighborhood your online network your social media your business and things of that nature it's expanding all those things right now and because we have the sextile there um the with the moon in aries you actually um, are comfortable expanding that right now getting new ideas for yourself for your business and things of that nature you are the one that's initiating based upon this level of comfortability and, and feeling this passion to expand and experience new ideas within your business uh, new ideas within communication and, and, and vocation and things of that nature Gemini deals with communication Gemini deals with fun 
um, playful like energy, that inner child like energy, right? Having fun um, learning and studying and things of that nature. Maybe you're expanding your knowledge right now, expanding the information that you're that you're used to receiving or used to indulging in, right? And 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 Aries is giving you the strength to actually pursue that, to actually, you know, want to do that. And you're learning and studying in accordance to your passion, motivation, and desires. You're not just learning and studying something that's you don't feel and have any drive for. It's where you have the drive that you have to look towards expanding. And you will see the opportunities there once you direct that energy towards the things you're passionate about. You will see new ideas come in. You will see new experiences, um, new new rooms of people of, to, of, of networking to talk and communicate, um, new neighborhoods, new new forms of travel uh, that's, that's local, going city to city, meeting new people locally in different venues and bars and things of that nature, traveling within your neighborhood to understand even um, social media and social networking to where maybe you have been amongst, you know, expanding that to where it's going, it's, it's group chat, that's um social media new new people new 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 clientele and things of that nature uh so be mindful of that right now that's a significant significant energy so with that being said that's the that's a little gist of the starcast report we're going to leave that on screen i'm going to make sure we're we're still recording here and um and we are so as we're still recording i'm going to get into some to some tarot polls thank you everyone on the channel that's Helping the channel grow, supporting the channel, booking readings with me over here. Thank you for supporting Trinity, the Phoenix Oracle. Thank you for supporting MC. We appreciate you here. For all those that um, that have been tapping in for creative uh, creative business development and, um, and, and brand management and things of that nature, uh, whether you're a creative, whether you have a business, um, or whether you're an artist, we deal with uh, creative business development. We can get a we can get in touch with you and help you with that right there. You can see uh, access to our agency, McLeodsBrand.com, and see all that we have to offer. We do help with um, offer multi multi tier mentorships, um, community group communities, to where you can uh, where we host one on one, not one on one, but group setting calls once uh, once a week. Things of that nature, we can ask questions based upon astrology, uh, creative craft, um, and things of that nature based upon um, your life path. So we help align your business and your creativity based upon your life path through astrology. Um, you don't need to learn astrology. You don't need to know astrology. This is something that we do and our team covers um, on the back end. So if you would like to create and sustain a long, um, a long term business for yourself as an artist, finding new creative ways to figure out your life path and hone in your craft, get in touch with us and we'll be happy to help. So we're going to get right into it, guys. And we got this beautiful um, new deck right here, the Gilded Tarot. I'll show the deck if anyone is interested by Sarah Machete. Beautiful illustrations. This is, for example, a nine of wands, as you can see. Illustrations. We got uh, we got gemstones at the top representing uh, colors and chakra correspondences as well, which I think will be a very nice read here. So, which is a perfect time because as we get into Virgo season, I think the reading was necessary. We have a lot of Virgos on the channel that support the readings that support tarot on this channel and the astro astrological breakdowns. So this would be a great um, Virgo season reading. So we're not going to do a picker card. We're going to do a collective or you know what? Maybe a picker card would be good. But I kind of want to get into some collective energies before we do a pick a card necessarily. So as we get in here, I want to make sure I'm nice and uh, nice and inside on this table. I appreciate everyone booking readings, supporting the channel, and coming to us for mentorship, for guidance. You know, we have a range of services available, so I appreciate all of you guys. If you would like a career reading, astrological, or tarot, feel free. For those who are participants on our mentorships, you know that is included in your men in, in your mentorship. So that's how that's how we develop guidance towards your path, towards your inner journey, and we develop um, a structured business towards your creative endeavor, right? And it doesn't have to be creative; it can be any terms of business. We utilize our our creative endeavors, which is astrological and tarot, 
to actually discover your life path to see where that energy should be directed in your life and how you can achieve that and that's what we help with from there we work on strategies one-on-one -on -one within our mentorship to actually build and monetize and scale if you're interested in that mccloudsbrand.com and you'll see a range of services that we offer getting straight into it here we have one card falling on our arm we have a volunteer and it's the three of swords three of swords a part of my collective here and we have the emperor see aries energy coming through three of swords is there anyone that you guys know is a significant um aries sun moon or rising sign and we have the three of swords this deals with communication not just commu not just any communication one third house communication so um it's that gemini energy that we're talking about as above so below you know tarot and astro and astro and astrology is is kind of one and the same if you know you know this the third house represents gemini and this is this is like jupiter and gemini i'm feeling with the moon and aries the comfortable having feeling comfortable enough to stand up and have the difficult conversations right and that's what's expanding your intellect and your mindset and your ways of communicating with each other here um with who you with whoever you're communicating with whether it is the whether it is a, a person place you know a, a spouse a friend etc uh, we also have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck which I like to see yeah speaking of intuition you know trust your inner voice trust your inner guidance follow your serenity who do you feel the and then we have the and then we have the lovers a lot of major arcana is coming out right now person uh, person that you're dealing with this could be a love situation um but this can be this can be a libra or a taurus but you intuitively you intuitively in, in i'm trying to trust whatever this whatever conversation or whatever turmoil that you guys are going through within this relationship i'm hearing you have to trust your intuition in order for this to be to be um to come through it to come to fruition to be guided etc we have three major arcanas coming out at the bat um, and the magician at the bottom of the card so you have the ability right now to know a lot and utilize a lot of the elements right now which is why you're trusting your intuition because you know what's up you have a hunch so you're kind of being guided by by a divine source by your intuition and when it comes to this communication you're standing up for yourself because you standing up for your relationship you're standing up for love it's for the sake of love is why you're having these difficult conversations because the conversations need to be had very interesting let's continue here okay we got an energy coming through page of wands we got a page of wands coming through for some of you guys out there be mindful for some of you guys out there see the thing is, it may be tough for you to to trust your intuition right now. What you're emotionally connected to, there's something coming. There's something coming in right now that could be a message that has. It could be a message or a messenger that will allow you to take action with something. There's something either creative or something you've been doing in forms of action that's going to come to you to give you a confirmation of something, and that's going to. Um, resonate with you emotionally that's what you emotionally connect to here i'm also hearing it can bring an offer change but there's a tough there could be a tough decision or a tough conversation that happened in the past the emperor is is, is your current energy for the collective so we have this which is interesting because the moon is in aries right now which represents which is the uh the emperor aries is the emperor in tarot Right. So in our current and in, in our past position, we've had these difficult conversations and we're trying to move past these difficult conversations. Um, and it's taking us through the experience of, 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 of this challenge. Right. Um, but we're stepping up for ourselves and, and initiating and knowing what's right. We have a lot of passion here, a lot of motivation, a lot of desire to make this right. You know what I'm saying? To, to work through this, to mend um, and things of that nature. The hidden influence is this lovers. So it's for the sake of a relationship. There's a love connection here. There's a love connection here that you know there's been, you've had some maybe difficult conversations, but you know it was important. 
You're standing up for yourself with the emperor, so you know your worth and things of that nature. You know why you have to you have to be strong through this situation. See, the challenge is trusting your intuition, but you know you need to trust your intuition. So do that. As you say, said fast and that you will have and receive some information with this with this page of page of pentacles here. See, but that, that and that's also that's also the position of um, of others' perspectives. You could be a person. You could be the person that you're. You could be coming or giving some sort of information to someone else that allows someone else to take action. Whoever you're emotionally connect to, whatever your like information you're providing them may allow them to take action. You could be the page in this situation. And vice versa, whether the page comes to you or you are the page, you'll know in your life. Just gonna pull two more here, two more. This is gonna pull. This is gonna be regarding um, the energies that you should be paying attention to, and the outcome of this path. So we're gonna pull these two right now, and we're gonna get into that. If this has been resonating for you guys already, drop a comment down below. We appreciate it tremendously as it helps the channel grow. Position six. What you should be paying attention to, the King of Swords. And then position seven, we have Death, Scorpio Energy. A lot of major arcanas coming out here. A lot of major arcanas. It's a significant reading for the collective right now. Seems like a lot of us are pushing past and letting go conversations that no longer serve us. Not being afraid to have the difficult conversations or separating from the relationships that no longer serve us that are kind of draining and kind of uh kind of exhausting right so we we've stepped back right we've stepped back and we've let go because the swords deals with shedding and separation as well right there's a lot of intellect and 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 maybe back and forth that affected that affected that can affect you guys emotionally so it's like you guys are what you want to move past this this seems like a relationship spread doesn't have to be it could be regarding work but it seems like a relationship spread right now with the collective and you could be focusing on work moving forward into this virgo season and 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 that could be understanding but this is offering this is leading to a powerful personal or relation or or coupled transformation we also have the temperance at the bottom of the deck which lets me know there will be a level of of balance it's also letting you know that a balanced lifestyle is actually very important a balanced mind body and spirit the trinity equilibrium is very important and it's very healthy um and things that age so are you are you guys are giving to each other and fulfilling each other where need be um to where it's a give and take and there's harmony so with the three of swords you, there's been some difficult conversation some conflict but you've moved past the conflict now when this emperor energy you kind of understand the position right you understand the position this right here is asking you to get organized and to prepare now is the time to kind of get organized and, and, and get ready for your next move. You know what I'm saying? Position yourself uh, towards your next move. Kind of take control over your own well-being. Um, and take control over this relationship. And, 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 and y'all really show up for each other. You know what I'm saying? If it, Whether it's for yourself or for this relationship, you're showing I'm here. I'm seeing you're showing up for yourself. And this is in turn helping the relationship because this is the hidden influence the relate the hidden influence is a lover and this influence could also be a libra or a taurus does not have to be they could have uh, venus and libra venus and taurus as well um and things of that nature similar with some aries energy there um we have the 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 the, the high priestess and deaths and some scorpio energy so there's a there's some significant and some sagittarius with the temperance so these can be some of your some of some of some signs for some of you guys are watching uh they may resonate with you guys directly or you could be dealing with these people these parties doesn't have to be though it could just be energy signatures that we're dealing with as well so with the emperor coming forth it's like you're showing up for yourself you're stepping up you're getting ready 
and you're you're doing better and you're trying to do the best that you can for the sake of this relationship for the salvation of this of this of this beauty you know you lifting each other carrying each other up right rising from the obstacles trust your intuition because you're being guided by your in intuition right now intuitive your inner voice but it's a little challenging for you to listen to that right now because there could be something outside of you that is maybe distracting you or showing up as a distraction and that could be possibly this page of wands energy that's 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 causing because it this could be shifting you emotionally this information that you're receiving could be from a younger individual and it could have to do with the lovers this this lovers this person that you're in a relationship with could be younger than you and they showed up with some sort of information um that emotionally could trigger something that may be dis that may make it hard for you to trust your inner voice and what you know um within you things of that nature but I'm hearing hold steadfast in the conviction of your intuition, but be open to the information that's coming to you from this page energy or from this, if this is your spouse, from your spouse, uh, male or female, etc. Um, what you should be paying attention to right now is the King of Swords, your position of knowledge and information, what 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 you say, your, your the clarity uh, and assertiveness of your communication and what you know aka your knowledge and information so there's some so 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 make sure you're you're strong and you're stern with what you know don't 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 be swayed um you see this is like a this is like intuit intuition versus logic you see there's a lot of information and logical knowledge that you know here this is like intuition versus knowledge yes that's the right word there's a lot of knowledge here with the king of swords that you know this is why you you're you're on the throne you're as a leader you know what i'm saying you see things uh, from the from the level of the throne from the level of the king it's because of the knowledge and the level of intellect that you have here right um but focusing on your knowledge and what you know i'm hearing will will help you trust will help in turn trust your intuition and what you what you intuitively be guided from so your knowledge your knowledge allows you to um confirm intuitive hunches easier quicker more sufficient that's why you're naturally intuitive here. Whoever I'm speaking to is naturally intuitive. It's only becoming a challenge because of the information you've received outside of yourself. But for, but within you, you have the knowledge and information within yourself to confirm the intuitive hunches. And I think this is what's leading to personal transformation for you realizing no matter what comes outside of you, you the knowledge that you have for yourself is what develops a strong uh, intuition is which is why you're on the throne because your intuition is what leads you to the knowledge so don't allow your 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 knowledge to be bombarded from outside um information to distract you your intuition leads you to the right knowledge right this thing could be these two things are here and the page is in the middle don't allow what's in the middle to stop you from reaching your own personal transformation aka power and control over your own well-being and things of that nature the balance of the mind body and soul the mind the soul being the the intuitive the intuitive intuition the mind being the king of swords and the body being the emperor the actions the passion motivations and desires right and understanding the balance of that the wholeness of that i'm seeing a lot of personal transformation this virgo see this virgo season a lot of mending what wasn't working and makes and 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 allowing it to work flowing with it um the in the, the high priest is here trust your inner voice allow what can work w to work and if it doesn't want to work then you we let it go because we see separation here with the swords but you see separation is also the information that this that this that this thing can work we see a lot of positive we see a lot of strong and 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 and, and solidified energy here with a lot of these major arcanas so it's showing me here that this is a powerful connection with a lot of transformation um, amidst it and a lot of leadership here the high priestess I'm hearing logic can interfere Logic, I'm hearing logic is interfering with your inner voice. Hmm. Hearing logic is interfering with your inner voice. Don't allow your mind 
to block what you intuitively feel. Understanding the diff understanding the difference between your intuition and your intellect. The two eyes. Right? There's a reason they call schools tuitions. But I like this energy. Horseshoe Thread, we'll be back at it again with another one. We're going to get into some collectives. Each zodiac sign, we've now set in stone, set the stage. Um, thank you for everyone. All my, all, my, all my clients, all my people that listen and watch for the readings and for the spiritual information. We're back at it again. They ain't stopping it. And it's what we do. It's what we're here for. The message will be spoken. And these will continue to be uploaded. Y'all go check out the channel. Days of the week, Zodiac Signs coming back at it again. Took a little month off, but we're back at it. Starting with a collective. Same schedule, days of the week. Scorpio Taurus starting Tuesday. Libra Virgo coming starting Wednesday. Aquarius and Libra. Venus Day, aka Friday. Oh, yeah, and then uh, Sag and Pisces is Thursday, Jupiter Day. Um, every Saturn day is Leo and Capricorn. Sunday is Cancer and Aries, so make sure you guys hit that notification bell. We'll be back at it again because we now, we now got the full station. I appreciate the patience. I appreciate everyone that's been been here. And as we close out, it's MC333. Back at it again. Namo Himalaya. Stay safe, stay, 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 stay in peace. Let's get it.